Washington State here in Nebraska was doing in the eastern part of the state. And so I was really excited when they decided to branch out to the rest of the state because we don't get a lot of shows out here. I honestly have hardly ever heard here of live bands coming through here. I know of a couple of live uh, other musicians in our area and they don't really play that often. Getting Nebraska music into places where it's seldom seen, that is probably the most important thing in my life, I think. Besides my children and my wife. <laughs> The ability to bring different ideas and different customs and things like that to rural areas. And just different like sounds in mm -hmm. music that I mean a lot of people out here are kind of, you know, it's a rural part of the state so they've grown up with a very uh, acute sound mm -hmm. I feel. So getting more of the urban culture and music scene out here in the western part of the state I think is super important mm -hmm. for just, you know, cultural growth. You can expose people and do something like this where it's a free show and really just like, hey, there's no reason not to go to this. And they see what bands are doing and like, oh, you don't, I don't, you don't have to be a top 40 band for me to like you. You can just be a band that's good and that's all that matters. I found it very interesting that there are a lot of really young people here and you can tell that they're just really watching and seeing, oh gee, maybe I could do that or seeing some different instruments than maybe what they're used to and different art forms. I think that, you know, hearing more than just commercial country music shows that, yeah, you can expand your horizons a little bit and I think maybe that might happen. I can speak wholeheartedly when, uh, when a couple amazing Nebraska bands rolled through my town, Grand Island, uh, when I was 14, it completely changed my life and it made me want to play music. So I think that hopefully that happens, you know, here and we can get some youngsters saying, hey, you know, buy me a guitar or buy me a drum set, mm -hmm. you know. I want to do what I just saw. When communities rally around bands, it's a real identity thing and like really gets people pumped up and kind of, you know, hometown pride kind of thing. And I think um, Nebraska has a lot of state pride for the Nebraskans that I know. and. Music would just be a great reflection of that. This is little kids, older folks, everybody in between, people coming from all over this, the area, and in our case, the state, to come together and, and listen to good music. For the people here in the towns, um, it's great for them to be able to experience some of the music in the, you know, Omaha and Lincoln, uh, particularly, that they might not otherwise see coming through places like North Platte. Uh, but it also is good for those bands, for the musicians, to have that exposure around the state to new audiences and, uh, and then build a following as they're, you know, just creating their music and trying to make a living or just having fun. It's a beautiful thing that's never been done before. And in 10, 15 years, who knows how big this thing might be? You know, who knows what this is going to create? Like, uh, you know, now we've played here and the owners already asked us back. So like, this is already opening doors. Whenever you play shows everywhere else, you're thinking about how well you can play to build your name and do all that stuff. But when it's this, it's like you're a part of something that, you know, 30 bands are a part of and that 30 bands are have a common goal of making Nebraska aware of all the awesome stuff that's going on as far as like independent local music. I mean, people in town were stoked about it. Like, uh, it said, you know, live music, Monday night, Valentine, Nebraska, and all these people have been inviting me to it. It sounded like word got around and here in Nebraska really promoted it well. And I thought it was, I thought it was pretty, pretty best Monday I've had in a while. In a long time for me. <laughs> I'm gonna take that and put it in my pocket and I'm gonna make a wish on every show being like that for the rest of my life. We've created a lot of good stuff here tonight, and here Nebraska's created a lot of great stuff with this tour, and it's gonna live on and it's gonna multiply. And that's what we're doing, is spreading good vibes and, and, and making art 
You know, for us, I mean, we're just a small office in Lincoln, Nebraska, you know, and so we can't possibly get out there ourselves and do everything, so we're always looking for partners. And when you find an organization like here in Nebraska that has a very, uh, a lot of vitality and, a, and innovative ideas about something, something that they can do to uh, enrich the lives of Nebraskans, we're all for it. And I, I will be very surprised if there's not a lot of clamoring for doing this again, you know, and following years. Uh, so I think it may take a couple of years to really hit, but um, you know, you're already getting great turnouts. So it's just a good sign that there's interest in this kind of thing. I would really then, like to see like people who are in this community, like pillars of the community, people who are like, who own businesses and things, see that there's like value in bringing art to this location. There are people here who want to come here and see like they want to see shows, they, you know, they want to go to galleries, but people don't bring them here because they think there's no potential. I want people who can actually bring stuff here to realize that they can.